Hello, my name is Plazukas. Today's video is going to be on Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. It's not a video I want to make, but it's a video I have to make after playing the demo. And it's the only thing that's actually publicly available, so it's the only thing I can talk about. And after experiencing the, the Needleheim parts of Final Fantasy VII with Sephiroth and Cloud and uh, Tifa, obviously, going back to his hometown and exploring that, you know, specific area, it was fantastic. Like, cinematically, atmospherically, even the combat was fine. A lot of things about the demo and about aspects of Final Fantasy VII are actually really good. Fantastic. Uh, there's more open world. Uh, that's an improvement from Final Fantasy VII Remake. Graphically, it doesn't look that much different, although it is because it's going to be a more open world. So therefore, the amount of work that had to go into this one was far, far superior than the one that had to go into Remake, even though Remake in itself was a lot of work, I'm sure. No, the problem today, and I think the problem with the game going forward, is going to be performance. There were two things that were very apparent with the demo, which may or may not translate to the open world. Like I said, I can only speak about it publicly, what I saw, so that's what, this is what the information I'm going to go on. The other part of the demo is locked until the 21st, and, you, and, and I'm not willing to talk about anything else. So, the camera is really bad in this game. We're talking potentially even worse than Remake only because of how open the worlds are and how much exploration you can do in this game compared to 7 Remake. 7 Remake was a corridor kind of game. Yes, you could explore, and at times the camera was bad then. It's w worse now, and I don't think it's worse because it's got worse since Remake. I think it's just been that bad, and the open world aspect has made it more apparent. It jitters, it jives, it turns, and... It does things like it just does things that it should not do. And that's already bad enough. But what's worse, and I can't speak for the rest of the game. It could just be the Needleheim section of it because it was dark. If you turn the camera and you didn't change positions or anything like that, it would change the the actual effect, the area of effect for the light. And I think that's happening in, in a multiplicative way where whenever you're walking and stuff like that, it's not noticeable. It's like subliminal messages in your eyes to where it's literally affected me. Um, the only comparison that I have, and it's not a very good one, is when I play Fallout 76 at 30 frames per second. That game is really hard to get used to, and you have to literally work your eyes um, in order to play it because of how bad it performs, how much it struggles with trying to maintain a, a certain level of um, performance, and then just everything else, like, it hurts your eyes. Like, some games just hurt your eyes and I hate to say this, but Final Fantasy VII is one of those games that is hurting my eyes. I'm not going to like have this be the death knell to this game. No, I, I I don't know what my I don't know what the future of this game looks like for me. It's a game that I want to spend 500 hours in. If I'm being perfectly honest with you. However, most likely, if it's going to be an issue with the camera, then yeah, I'm going to struggle to get through it. I'm going to have to take smaller sessions in order to to I think to to get used to it now. It could be I get into the open world, the dynamic light, you know, only affect it when I'm in a smaller confined area and it's like struggling with trying to compensate for light. But in the open world, it's perfectly fine because it's all lit um, and it all happens naturally and all happens at the same time and it won't be as bad with the angles. I hope that's the case. If it's not and if it's any comparison to Needleheim, I, I don't know how I'm going to do it for any long period of times. Now, I didn't play 16. Partly because of performance. The other aspect of it was that it wasn't all full action. It wasn't full RPG. They they tried to do two things, and one's done better than the other, but neither are done that great, to be honest, in my opinion. The the fact that you could just play that on easy mode, you know, with with no or little to no competition, you know, it wasn't it wasn't for me. It you know, with Final Fantasy VII Rebirth is different. I will play this game regardless. I will struggle through it. I will I will grip my teeth. I will find a way to finish it. But at the same time. If the camera is going to be this bad that often, it's going to be a hard one. Even if, let's say, and I and I do believe that the music is going to be a 10 out of 10, the cinematography is going to be a 10 out of 10, the atmosphere is going to be a 10 out of 10, the story is going to be a 10 out of 10, all the other things are going to be fantastic and masterpiece level um, of execution. And yet the camera, which is a very important part of the gameplay, it's one of the most crucial aspects to get right. You would think it'd be the easiest, but apparently it's not. And I don't know if that has to do with the lighting or if it has to do with just the camera or if it's a combination of both. We're going to find out. I needed to make a video because ultimately I'm worried. And I don't think we should just be all hype and not address these concerns. Again, 
This happened with 16. We had performance issues. I don't know if it's the PlayStation 5. I don't know if it's the engine that Square Enix is using. I don't know what the issue is because we've seen other games perform better. I've, you know, uh, first party exclusive games obviously run better on the PlayStation 5, but there is that gap. There is that issue. Um, and it seems like it's plaguing Square Enix for whatever reason. Uh, but that's, that's what my video is about. My name is Pajukas. If you like this content, like, subscribe. We'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.